All aboard, it's Jang here with a look at a large Playmobil set. This is the furnished shopping mall. It comes with 535 pieces. This took me probably over three hours to put together. It's a two-story structure and it's not at all rectangular. It has a lot of different types of angles as well as curves around. There are many different types of wall pieces that have to be put together in very specific ways to get everything to look just right and fit together just right. But there are also a ton of small accessories and small pieces to sort out and put together. The set includes seven figures, and these use the newer interchangeable clothes system, so we'll look at these more closely later on. I want to start with a look at the top floor of the mall. Right in the center section is a large area which has on display three Playmo figure mannequins with some clothes that you can actually take off, try on, and purchase from here. Over on the right side is kind of a miscellaneous accessories store that has a variety of different items. There's a working mirror mounted into the wall and just a number of things on the shelf that you can potentially buy. The checkout register has a nice display sticker to represent the point of sale machine. This is also the side that has the dressing room and that has the door that can be opened up and you can place a figure in there for privacy and close this back. Across to the other side of the floor you see a large display on the wall there and in the corner is kind of a sporting goods store. There are a couple of dumbbell weights in the display counter there. There's a trophy, a backpack that's small, some various rings, some flippers and a snorkel mask for water sports, a couple of riding uh, helmets or caps, two different small saddles as well as three saddle pads. There's just a little display with a couple of clothing items. And over on this side, some more stuff that's related to equestrian arts, as well as just randomly some bowling pins up there, and also a bag that you can purchase with the Playmobil logo on it. To travel between the top and bottom floors, they include an elevator, which has a nice rotating glass door that opens onto the floor and can seal up nicely. And this whole thing can be transported down. Just push it or pull it up. And once you get to your destination, just open the door. The shop in this corner of the first floor just has a lot of different types of bags and purses. And there's also a checkout counter there with a register. And if we look at this on the other side, you can see that the register actually has some stickers on it. And in addition to that, there's a drawer, a cash drawer, which you can open up, which also has another sticker in there with just a little more detail. In the center of the mall towards the front is an ATM machine, but you can put that wherever you want it. This has a few stickers on it and surprisingly it actually kind of works. You can stick a ATM card in there, push it in and money comes out the slot and there's lots of money in there. So I'll just put a finger in front of it so it won't come out all the way. There's a, a denomination of 20. There's some more. So there's a whole bunch that you can load into there and just bring out one at a time. There's a 50 and there's more. You can open up the whole thing from the side. You can actually use the the card as kind of a, a screwdriver to allow you to, to unlock this. Just uh, turn it to the side. I can open this up and there's your whole money stack. So a bunch of denominations are included with this and there are other sets that include the money as well. On the right hand side of the bottom floor is a bridal and wedding supply store. Per the pictures on the box, they put a couple of hats here, as well as hair pieces underneath. And you can actually use those hair pieces on your figures, and they also have some flowers. The table in the front has a small little wedding cake and also a bouquet that you can buy. The centerpiece of this store's offerings, though, of course, is this wedding gown, along with a veil to go with it. And that's all just displayed on a specialized mannequin. You have to apply the gems yourself, which make this really sparkle. And this is all wearable. Both the gown and the veil are fully wearable and the veil piece is really nicely made. It's not the most expensive material, but for Playmobil figures, I think it looks pretty deluxe, especially with the length of the tail. The set also includes some items to help make the mall feel larger than just the main structure. So over here you've got a little rest area with a couple of small tables and a pretty nicely built up tree. 
There's also an ice cream vendor area that you can build up and place wherever you want because these parts aren't attached to anything. And they give you four different flavors of ice cream here with two different styles of pieces for the scoops. So this style right here fits into the cups very nicely like this. And you saw a chocolate one of those on the table across the way. They also have a different style to use with cones. So here, the scoop piece is actually one piece of plastic that extends all the way through the cone and you can customize these. You don't have to use just the one type so they give you options for each flavor and this can actually be held in the hand of a figure. They also give you some spoons if you're going to be purchasing the ones that come with the, the cups. Extra cups on the back. Also some coffee mugs. There's a coffee decanter here that you can pour from and there's another little different slightly different cash register same mold here but different stickers this time around you also see the, the cash drawer there and finally we come back to the figures once again i think playmobil has done a great job of providing a set with a lot of variety to the included figures so you get some different facial expressions some different hairstyles different styles of clothing and not just different colors, but completely different types, different skin tones, different uh, different interests. You can clearly see that, that, that the different figures have different types of things that they would be interested in. So it just really helps a kid to really use his or her imagination to see different personalities and different lives for these different figures. Here's a quick look at all of them from the backs as well. Not as much to see there, but I also want to show you how the interchangeable clothes system works to change up the styles even more and to help you to buy things and try things on in the stores. Take this woman here as an example. Let's say she's shopping in the upper floor of the mall and she sees this dress on sale and she wants to try it on. Well, these dress pieces are built in two parts. There's a front and a back. So you can just remove those, remove her dress, and then place this on instead. And just like that, she now has completely new styling. Or maybe she doesn't like this particular style. She wants to go for something different. Maybe goes over to the, the sporting goods store and sees this outfit with the cute short skirt and also the hat. And she wants to try both of those on. She was already wearing a tank top underneath, so the skirt goes on just fine, even though it's a different style of clothing altogether. However, this type of hat is not going to fit with that kind of hair. From the bridal store, I'm going to take this display and use its hair. This has the classic circle style to the top that you can attach other things to. Now, admittedly, that's not the exact same color of hair that she had before, but it does allow her to change up to this style. It also allows her to wear the veil so she can have the full wedding outfit on. Like I said right from the beginning, there's a whole lot to this set and it took a long time to put together. It even took a long time just to kind of stage everything up, putting all the little individual items onto their shelves for this review. But for the target audience, I think they've done this exactly right. You need to have all those little options. You want this to actually feel like a shopping experience. It's a mall. It's not just a place where you go hang out. It's a place where you go look at products for sale and potentially buy them. There's just a ton of stuff to do. And this is a nice large set that has enough space to get your hands in there and to actually interact with all the individual parts. Also, if that's not enough, they allow you to expand this. It uses the expandable system and you can add on an, uh, using another set that's sold separately. You can add on another section to the top and bottom floor. You can keep adding to it and bring in more stores. They also sell just accessory kits with products for different types of stores. So you can swap things around however you want. I think this is really cool. I hope that you've enjoyed this look at the set and I hope that you will take a moment to share what you think about it by leaving a comment down below. I really appreciate feedback from the viewers, including your thoughts about the products themselves as well as any constructive criticism that you might want to share with me about how I can make my videos better. Speaking of which, more videos are on the way, so stay tuned. I'll be talking to you again soon.